Hello. Hi. has been a while I'm scared I don't know what else to say other than I'm scared I'm so scared <laughs> hello this is a bit awkward hope everybody's doing very well I haven't been on here in a while just sort of give you an update on why exactly I have not been on <laughs> I haven't uploaded a video probably in like three weeks and and that's just due to the fact that I actually um just couldn't do it. I don't know if anybody's aware. Let me. I need to look it up before I speak about this, just to verify that I am not talking about something completely different. <laughs> this is exactly it. <laughs> so, um, if anybody's heard of imposter syndrome, oh, don't, let me move back a bit. So, imposter syndrome. What is imposter syndrome? Um, refers to an internal experience of believing that you are not as competent, competent as others perceive you to be. So, <laughs> basically, in Tiampa, no, oh, it kind of smells nice, that's for once. I have developed imposter syndrome. I could not pick up the camera. Firstly, due to the fact that I've been listening to a lot of podcasts recently over the past couple of weeks, because I've actually found the last um, lockdown really tough, I'm sure, as everybody else. And I was watching or listening to Emma Chamberlain's podcast the other day. She has some really good ones. Um, and it was called Life Burnout. So do you ever get when you, if it's just normal uni life and you try really hard on an assessment and you don't do as well as you kind of hoped and you've really tried for this assessment and then you kind of get burnt out about the whole module say because you don't feel interested anymore as you would have before because you feel like you're really trying to do it and you're not getting the grasp of it. I kind of feel burnt out in like all stages of life and I don't want to say this for people to think that I'm like trying to complain or like that I have it worse off than others or have it better off than others. Everybody still has value in what they feel at any given time and I, for everybody it's been such a tough year so I wrote some notes on it because I wanted to make sure that I said everything in text with her. So let me get comfortable for this. Also, I hope you like my new intro. That's the only thing I have done in the past probably three weeks is created a new intro. So I hope you like that. It's obviously very basic, but I like the mint green. The mint green really um, makes me feel springy and summery and that's what we're going for. Anyway, burnouts. Um, yeah, usually you get a burnout kind of when it comes to one aspect of your life. But from personal experience right now, I feel burnt out in every aspect. So at the start of lockdown, I was making my YouTube videos cons consistently every week. Now it doesn't even give me the same fulfillment. Well, it does kind of now because I'm back again. But it didn't really give me the same type of fulfillment that it did uh, when I first started out. Because I assumed by lockdown number two at the very best was going to be a whole everything open and again new normal and I just kept set my up self up basically for failure if that makes sense so when I talk about like the burnout feeling it's almost as if like it's been a literally a full year now so I feel like in my kind of own personal experience I thought every aspect of my life and kind of deconstructed it and put it back together and and I would say before Christmas I was really ready to go back out into the world and just use all the knowledge that I gained or the self-awareness I gained all last year and kind of put it to good use. So I think I kind of got caught up in the whole new year and there was going to be a whole new change and there really wasn't. Um, which was very disappointing. <laughs> but that's the whole point of a pandemic you don't really know when it's going to end but now we'll have a date and the 21st of june is apparently when our life is going to go back to normal now this is obviously very give and take because it's been like a week if even and we don't know what it's going by data not by dates which is the biggest information key information that we should keep aware of 
regardless of, of still being optimistic about what is going to happen in the next couple of months because I really hope that we do start to open up again and kind of gain our personal experiences back and our I forget how to talk to people I literally forget how to I literally forget how to use like my personal like being skills like I just don't understand how to do it and I don't know if this is only me that like gets this but now when I find myself talking to somebody first of all I take the biggest retina ever so I get so embarrassed when I'm talking to them then after a while um, we've talked to whatever kind of we catch up it's nothing too much because realistically what else do we have to say to each other rather than like Hopefully things will start to open up soon. <laughs> I'm not so my theory thing I said anybody. But anything else I do say after I go and speak to that person or them these people, I overthink in my brain like, oh what did you say that for? Like what if they take that the wrong way? Oh my flash light is dying. The past few weeks have just been very challenging, I think. Just wanted to do kind of a wee catch up vlog for my first one back and I've got a few videos planned for the next couple of weeks so I'm glad to have a bit of a roadmap in both aspects of my life in terms of YouTube and also in terms of going back to reality and normal circumstances hopefully I am um, still over here in Liverpool obviously I'm going to I have to fill out a few applications at the minute for uni and the deadline is five o'clock Right now it's 20 past three. If anybody's wondering also, my bodysuit is from Zara. It is so cute. It kind of looks like a swimsuit, a swim, a swimsuit, swimsuit. I'm wearing a bra under it because it makes me look not as flat chested. However, there is double lining in it, so you don't have to wear a bra. I just wear it um, because it's basically a necessity at this point. on tiktok for the past what is this her i love her space buns today i've been on tiktok for the past probably 20 minutes waiting on my dinner being made in the oven obviously and i just watched this tiktok this is so crazy with that let me show you like what the fuck Oh, I feel like you can also see like lines. I think that's from my lighting in my room. It just tends to go a bit like weird sometimes because it's not natural light. But I haven't vlogged since, talked in the vlog since yesterday. I was saying obviously about kind of burnout in life and how I've just been feeling quite shitty honestly for the past three weeks. Just usual things that would kind of give me a bit of fulfillment and excitement. They just really haven't. And I find the best thing is to kind of just you have to just kind of ride through it if that makes sense I'm gonna have some baked potato and coleslaw maybe for my dinner I know it's a bit of a weird dinner but it's Millie's birthday tonight in the flat so we're gonna have just a wee small lockdown friendly birthday I don't really have much else to update you on at the minute I'm glad I've started back vlogging again that was what really I wanted to do this week and with the new weather and the deadline of the deadline I can't really call it a deadline the date of the 21st of June even though it's not really like it isn't set in stone and we don't know what is going to happen but I'm trying to be very optimistic about it because I think that's the best thing we really can do at the minute the only thing I really and I think what it look contributes to the fact of actually being kind of feeling less good about yourself or not feeling completely motivated is this is the third time like it's not like it's the first lockdown when I think about the first lockdown I think it was a breeze compared to now completely but now the weather is starting to pick up again and I have a very positive I have a very positive outlook for the future ahead it is currently seven o'clock on the dot 
and I'm gonna have some dinner and then I'll get ready for tonight I'm not too sure what I'm gonna wear or what oh yeah that's what I was saying I think the contributing factors to why maybe some of us don't feel like ourselves is the fact of we haven't got abroad in over a year really it's little things like fake tan I don't have the energy to fake tan like I used to um because I'm not really going anywhere so then I don't put on the fake tan and I know for me myself anyway when I'm a lot paler it makes me almost more insecure I don't know why it's so silly to think but it is wee things that like I notice in myself that'll make me feel a bit down about myself so every once in a while I like to slap it's not really on now I like to put a bit of tan on so I think I might do an updated tan routine it hasn't changed that much in terms of the products but the way I apply it on the prep port is kind of a bit different so if you want to see that just let me know just keeping a clear mind being very optimistic about the next couple of weeks and months and yeah hopefully see you guys in the next video please keep safe please keep well and enjoy the sunshine while it's here